One person has died and three others injured following clashes at Oshie here in Accra. It's the third of such deadly clashes in the last few weeks and residents say they are living in fear. Some of these residents, according to what they say, the deceased who accosted some workers on a building site was killed after an altercation. Joy News is learning a chief tenancy dispute dating two decades ago has resulted in many disagreements over land ownership with many claimants in the small community of Oshie. Some thugs, popularly known as land guards, have also taken advantage of the situation. Maxwell Agbagba has visited the community, and here is his report. This is the exact spot where the gentleman was killed Thursday morning. Now, when you come here, the blood is still splattered here. Some of the residents um, in this little community of Oshie have tried covering it with um, some soil, but it's still visible. You can still see the blood. They tell me that um, sometime around 8 o'clock a.m. Thursday, uh, they heard some gunshots echoing um, around this place. They came out and then they saw um, the body lying here. Earlier, we were at the Kokrobite police station where some officers they tell us that a long-standing dispute between some claimants um, to the stool here in this community has resulted in many land cases. One of those cases is what has resulted in the killing of the gentleman here in this community. Around 8 a.m., we were in the house. We heard some gunshots. When we came out, we realized someone had been shot. The person had died at the time we came here. We were about 10 residents gathered here after the shooting. We heard the gunshots and ran to our rooms. We are new in this community and we've never seen anything like this before. We want to go back to our hometown. Uh, the Langards usually attack us when we are working. They tell us to stop anytime they meet us. Sometimes they extort money from us. When you don't give them, they will attack you. That would have taken a month ago. Even when we are working, this is my son. They hit his head with a stick a month ago. Even when we are working, we are scared. We are living in fear in this community.